Amen. Yes, he does. We appreciate the Lord immensely. I would sing myself, but again, we're having some difficulties with the sound system, so I'm going to forego the singing part of it. But it was good to have Pam up here. We were able to work, team up, and get her out there where you could hear some of the music and those lovely songs that you had to sing today. Thank God for that. Give the Lord a hand. Amen. Appreciate, appreciate the Lord. Hallelujah. And so um, I just want to make a few little statements about a couple of things, and then we'll uh, move and just minister a little bit in the gifts of the Spirit. But in Psalm 18, 1, it says, I love you, Lord. You are my strength. The Lord is, of course, Lord is a uh, capital L-O-R-D, and that's the tetragrammatical name of the Lord that Aaron invoked before the mercy seat. L-O-R-D is the four corners of the altar of sacrifice or the brazen altar, yud he va he yud he va he And... Um, that was the strength of the name that was uttered once a year in the holies of holies. As Aaron ministered before the Lord uh, at the atonement season in God's house. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my salvation. My fortress. Think about that. My fortress. He, we're, we're aligned with the God of the ages, the God of angel army that stands in a place, a palatial place of strength and power, who creator of the universe, the creator of eons, the creator of all that is, as he stands, not only as the creator, but the sustainer and the maintainer, the protector of life. Amen. He is our rock, our fortress, our salvation. My God is my rock in whom I find protection. He is my shield. The power that saves me. And my place of safety. Wow. And of course, the last part of that, who's worthy of praise. He saved me from my enemies. Amen. How many have some enemies out here? We have a few now and then, don't we? But uh, the Lord saves us from those things. Second Samuel 22, 2. He said, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. God knows how to deliver. Can you say amen? He can deliver from poverty. He can deliver from sickness. He can deliver from pain. He can deliver from stress. He can deliver from any kind of disturbance and any kind of onslaught. My God is my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield. He's the horn of my salvation. <laughs> Hallelujah. He is my stronghold, my savior from violent people. You saved me. And, of course, we know that just from driving down the streets, having to meet all kinds of different characters out there on the road. And uh, just in the very goings and comings of life itself, we find stressful situations. But how many know God is in control of it all? Yes. Amen. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 71, 3, be my rock, the rock of my refuge. Many times it talks about the rock being a refuge to which I can always go. Give command to save me for you are my rock. And you are my fortress. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
not only a rock, but a fortress. I mean, I've seen some of those beautiful castles, pictures of castles in Wales and England and Germany and different countries that have these big Switzerland, yeah, and the Alps, big edifices and fortresses. Imagine God having his fortress and that fortress surrounding you. Amen. And I like what he says in Psalm 62 in verse 7. He is my mighty rock and my protection. People trust in God at all times. Tell him all of your problems because God is our protection. Tell him all of your problems. How many are casting all of their care upon him? Amen. For he careth for you. Amen. Glory to God. That's so awesome. <laughs> Psalm 31, 3, it says, Yes, you are my rock and my protection. For uh, the good of your name, lead me and guide me. Lead me and guide me. How many know being led and being guided by God is your divine protection as well? God shows you the right way to go. Shows you where to where to uh, turn and, and shows you who to talk to and, and who to uh, commiserate with and and how to transact and how to move in life. And he saves us from much sorrow, much hurt, much pain. Amen. From going his way. Thank you, Jesus. Save me from the traps of my enemies that the enemy has set. You are my place of safety. God is our place of safety. Can you say amen? amen. Psalm 144, 1 and 3 says, Praise be to the Lord our rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. He is my loving God and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield. In whom I take refuge. He subdues people unto me. Glory to God. What are human beings that you care for them? Mere mortals that you think of them. My God, my God. Isn't that amazing? God is awesome. You know, Psalm 62, 2. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be greatly shaken. I shall not be greatly shaken. Hallelujah. There's a lot to be said about God and his care, his nurturing, his standing with us, his being with us always. The Bible said he's with us always. And he's a rock. He's a fortress. He's a deliverer. He's a savior. He's a mighty God. Amen. Psalm 62, 6. He only is my rock, my salvation. He's my defense. My defense. I shall not be moved. I shall not, I shall not be moved. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? The kingdom of God is never shaken. You may be shaken mentally, you may be shaken emotionally, you may be disturbed somewhat in your persona, but your spirit never is shaken. Your spirit stands tall. Your spirit stands straight. Your spirit stands strong. It never is shaken, no matter what is going on. Hallelujah. Psalm 27, 1, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Amen. 
And so if you're not afraid, what does that allow you to do? It allows you to be free. It allows you to be happy. It allows you to be glad. It allows you to have praise. And it allows you to give God glory. And it allows you to laud and applaud God because you don't walk in fear and trepidation and worry and concern. You know that he's got you. Everybody say, God's got me. Psalm 95, 1, oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock, the rock of our salvation. Amen. Let me just give you a few more scriptures and I'll close it out here. In Psalm 78, 35, they remembered that God was their rock. I may know sometimes it slips our mind. Sometimes it evades our consciousness. But we need to continually remember that God is our rock, that God most high is our redeemer. He is our redeemer. Amen. He's buying us out of all loss, liability, limitation, and hesitation, and worry and concern. He's buying us back from the enemy's arsenals and the enemy's attacks. And even our own mistakes and even our own misfortunes. He's still moving in in a redemptive way. And he is breaking the violation. Then the restrictions that we place even upon ourselves. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Deuteronomy 32, 4, he is the rock. He, he works. His works are perfect. All his ways are just. A faithful God who does no wrong. Upright and just is he. Hallelujah. And I like this in Deuteronomy 33, 32, 31. It says, for uh, their rock is not like our rock, even our enemies concede. Even our enemies concede. Even our enemies concede. Hallelujah. Psalm 1831. Hallelujah. And of course, Isaiah 44, 8, do not tremble, do not be afraid. Did I not proclaim this and, and foretell it long ago? You are my witnesses. Is there any God besides me? No, there's no other rock. I know not one. I know not rock. The psalmist said, lead us to the rock that's higher than I. Lead us to the rock that's higher than I. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. But oh my, when God steps in, all manner of hesitation leaves. All manner of anxiety is removed. All anxiousness and trepidation and fear flee. Can you say amen? We need to graduate to that level in our lives. Hallelujah. And if we don't praise him, the rocks will cry out. Amen. Habakkuk 2.11 says, For the stones will cry out from the wall, and the rafters will answer them from the woodwork. And the rafters will answer them from the woodwork. <laughs> Hallelujah. God, everything that is made has a voice. You might not hear it. But God knows it. Can you say amen? And even the rocks themselves have a voice. And they know how to cry out. And they know how to exalt their God. Thank you, Jesus. 
I'll just do one more here. Um, in Psalm 31, 2, turn your ear to me. Come quickly to my rescue. Turn your ear to me. Come quickly to my rescue. Be my rock and my refuge. A strong fortress to save me. A strong fortress to save me. Amen. Well, let me leave you with this last one. I said the last one. Let me just leave you with this one. In, in 2 Samuel twenty two forty seven. 47, the Lord lives. Praise be to my rock. Exalted be my God, the rock of my salvation. Let's give God a, a praise offering right now and say, Lord, I thank you that you are my rock.